Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deach here, and I'm coming to you from New Orleans, Louisiana, and I'm out here on Canal Street because it is almost Christmas time. I wanted to come out here. Some of the hotels put together some amazing decorations for Christmas and for the holidays. It's unreal. We're going to go inside some of these and go check them out. Let's go. Out here on Canal Street is the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, and it is in a very old building. It was built in 1908, and originally the Maison Blanche building, and every year for Christmas they would decorate with Mr. Bingle, a local iconic New Orleans character. These beautiful wreaths on the front of the building, they are gorgeous. And you are greeted by toy soldiers at the entrance. And they are a lot bigger as you walk up close to them. These guys are really cool. I like his mustache. Well, let's go take a walk inside and see what they have. I love the Christmas trees that they have in here. These are pretty. As soon as you walk inside, you're greeted with these gorgeous Christmas trees all decked out in lights and decorations and everything. But up this way, down this corridor, something really cool. This is the SS Bingle. This is a gingerbread riverboat. This thing is made completely out of gingerbread and candy and frosting. And sitting on top is the captain, Mr. Bingle. He is a New Orleans icon. This was a character that Maison Blanche used to put on front of this building when they were here for Christmas every year. Mr. Bingle was the Christmas character to celebrate Christmas in New Orleans. Look at this thing, look how detailed this is. I can't imagine the amount of hours spent putting this together, getting all the candy in place, making the gingerbread. This is just, this is incredible. And there's presents on the back for all the good boys and girls. Look at the detail put into this. I'm just blown away by this. It's just, this thing is just so cool. Check out this beautiful corridor all lit up in purple. And at the end of it is this really pretty fountain. Love it. So I've made my way up to the third floor of the hotel because there's more lights up here, but there's something really special that I want to go see. But check this out. Look at this. This is like a tornado of Christmas lights just coming off the ceiling here. Look at this. That is spectacular. I love the way this looks. Just just look at the detail in this and it just grows and goes up here onto the ceiling. Almost like a big tree of lights. That is awesome. And here's another Christmas tree, but more importantly, check this out. This is a streetcar made out of gingerbread. A gingerbread streetcar. How cool is that? And it looks like driving the streetcar is old St. Nick himself, Santa Claus, in the window here in the front of the streetcar, made out of gingerbread. Look at this. Just look at all the candy that's on the side of this thing. Imagine how much candy you had to get and put on here to make this thing. This is so cool. And in the windows, you've got some famous New Orleans people here. You got Alan Toussaint, John Goodman, who is a New Orleans resident, Zion Williamson, our new basketball player for the Pelicans, Ella Brennan, Art Neville, Ellen DeGeneres, 
Jeremy Davenport. A lot of New Orleans icons are represented here in the streetcar made out of gingerbread. On the other side, you've got famous chef Emeril Lagasse, Ashley Longshore, you've got Dr. John, Big Frida, you've got Rex, the king of carnival, Gail Benson, the owner of the Saints, and of course, Drew Brees, the goat, the greatest of all time. So this is the ingredient list used in creating the gingerbread streetcar. Look at all the stuff that went into making this thing. That is insane. 400 eggs, 80 pounds of batter. Wow. They're also giving out free pieces of uh, gingerbread. Really good. I like gingerbread. I like in the back here, you've got Mr. Bingle in the window. I love seeing Mr. Bingle represented. They have a courtyard and out in the courtyard, they've got these beautiful decorations as well. These giant lit up snowflakes in front of this gorgeous fountain. Really pretty, very festive. And as you can see, the entire courtyard is decorated with lights on the trees. But if you look up, you can see the windows into the hotel rooms and you can see that we are kind of in the middle, the center of the hotel outside. And it's just beautiful out here. The weather is perfect. Love these lights, very beautiful. Happy holidays. All right. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. New Orleans is known for its streetcars, but this is a bus type vehicle that is shaped to look like a streetcar. And I'm out here on Canal Street at the site where the Hard Rock Hotel was being built. This is the building that collapsed and unfortunately killed three people, two of which are still inside. They are trying to figure out a way to remove the structure without damaging any other properties nearby but they've got this part of canal street completely blocked off no street cars no cars can go through but we want to go down this street right here because down here is another hotel that i want to check out this is the roosevelt hotel it is a waldorf astoria hotel and it is gorgeous gorgeous place to stay if you ever come to town, check out the Roosevelt. You can see they've decorated their sign, their marquee, with some lights and garland. It is not a huge hotel by any means, but it is just the right size for this area of town in New Orleans. And just in case you didn't know where we were, this is the Roosevelt Hotel. We're gonna go inside and check it out. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted with all of these lights, this entire long corridor full of people and decorations. Of course, there are Christmas trees just about everywhere that you look. And they have their own gingerbread creation, another riverboat here with a fleur-de-lis on top. This is really cool. I love seeing these gingerbread creations. They're just, they're amazing because I have tried building a gingerbread house and have been unsuccessful. Looks like the river is made out of chocolate frosting to resemble the Mississippi River that the riverboat is sitting on. I love the detail in it. The Christmas trees they have here are really pretty. I love the decorations on them. It's not overboard. So I am essentially standing in the middle of this long corridor of lights. And if you look down this way, you can see all the people and the lights down here. But if you look behind me, it's almost the same thing. More people and more lights. It's cool. I saw this gorgeous display. Look at this. This is awesome. That is huge. Hey, Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Check out this guy's suit. That's awesome. <laughs> 
If you look up at the ceiling, look at the detail that's in the ceiling. God, this place is just incredible. And above the entryway to the hotel is yet another Christmas tree sitting on top of the rotating doors, the revolving doors. And it just leads with lights to the corridor of lights and people. Awesome. I've made it to the other end of the corridor and yet another Christmas tree above the revolving doors. Let's go walk outside. We're gonna go find another hotel and see what kind of Christmas lights they have set up. I am back on Canal Street at the Saint Hotel. Already I like the decorations they have in here. Check out this guy with the bells. I like his beard. I'm gonna grow my beard like that. It seems that each of these hotels are using a different color scheme with their trees. I like it. This is kind of a white and blue and gold, but because it's the Saint Hotel, check it out. They've got these angel wings kind of everywhere got these two really large Christmas trees at the entryway to the lobby the check-in desk I should say we've got Frosty the snowman hanging out in this tree I like this they got these clear chairs and on the backs are these angel wings as well I guess to represent the Saint Hotel this is their logo on the floor here that's really cool there's another chair over here. This one has the white wings. So I'm leaving Canal Street. I'm making my way deeper into the French Quarter. I hear some music up ahead. Curious. And this is what I love about New Orleans. You can walk down just about anywhere and find some music playing or some people having a good time, having fun. It's Christmas time. It's, it's the holidays. Everybody's out here to have a good time. It's awesome. made it to the corner of Bourbon and Iberville. I'm making my way down to yet another hotel to go check out their decorations. But this is the heart of the French Quarter. This is Bourbon Street. And there's always some excitement going on here on Bourbon Street. Look at all the people that are out having a good time. All right. Hey, what's up, man? Everybody's having fun, getting into the Christmas spirit.
Christmas. There's one more hotel that I want to check out. This is the Royal Sinesta on Bourbon Street. And I love their signage that they have out here with the Desire marquee. Located on the ground just before you walk inside is their logo. Let's go in and check it out and see what they have in here. And look at this fountain that you're greeted with as soon as you walk inside. It's gorgeous in here. Look at all the trees. This beautiful display of flowers. This is so pretty. I love it. Very serene. Look at all the money that's in there. All right, let's go see what we have over here. Look at the Christmas trees with the Christmas flowers surrounding it. Everybody is dressed up to have a good time out here in New Orleans. Look at the flocked tree that's decorated. This is beautiful, man. This is their lobby with their check-in counters. People are checking in. This corridor of lights, decorations, and Christmas trees. The chandeliers that are hanging down are gorgeous. Everything here is pretty. Look at this trumpet on the wall. I love it. It's so pretty. It's very Christmassy. Puts me in the holiday spirit, I can tell you that. Look at this. Look how gorgeous that looks. These might be my favorite Christmas trees that I've seen in the hotels so far tonight. This is beautiful. I like the bows that are on these too. And the trees are surrounded by the Christmas plants. This gorgeous chandelier with the giant reef hanging over the mirrored wall over here. And it's displaying that they are celebrating their 50th anniversary at the Royal Sinesta. This seems to be the recurring theme at these places to have these really spectacular gingerbread creations. I believe this is a recreation of the St. Louis Cathedral with Christmas trees out here. And it is all completely made out of gingerbread and candy and frosting. This is so cool. I love the detail put into this. This is awesome. It makes me want to eat it. I'm very hungry now. <laughs> all right, well, that's going to do it for me from downtown New Orleans. Yeah. This was amazing. All the decorations, all the lights and everything that I saw. Absolutely incredible. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed a little land yap. Miss Houdat. Hope you a good time.